Hey, what is going on everybody? Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the sneak peek that the developers release as to what's coming up for the next update. Now, just taking a quick glance at this, I think the next update is looking pretty promising. Now, I am a little skeptical mainly because of what happened to the harvest day event but let's go ahead and jump right into this and see what we can expect for the next update and first things first one of the things that a lot of us have been requesting is some kind of inventory filtering system and it looks like we are getting that finally with the next update now keep in mind that they kind of learn not to do this but last time they did gave us an ETA as to when the update was coming up. This time they didn't say when this update was coming up. So keep your expectations low and don't go too, too crazy. So first thing first, as you guys know, if you guys have a lot of items, it is a pain in the neck to filter through those items. So finally, with the next update, it looks like we are going to be getting that system. And not only that, we're also going to be getting um, our favorites. It looks like we're going to be able to favor our favorite um, item sets, which I think is pretty cool. So as you guys can see from this picture, we'll be able to filter those items, which I think is pretty, pretty awesome. Something else that we are going to be getting with this new update is two more item sets, and it looks like uh, we're gonna get two. And looking at this, I see the F here, so maybe that is going to be um, some items set that will benefit those kind of units. So looking forward to that. It looks like those items are going to be legendary. Um, nothing too too crazy, but I think um, more item sets are always welcome. And then new boss skin types. Now this was uh, one of the things that was already mentioned in the previous post, but it didn't make it. I, I guess it didn't make it to the final update, which was the prior update. Uh, that we got so it looks like within the next update hopefully we'll be able to get new skins now with this i'm not sure if this is just going to be skins or if we are going to get something out of it like maybe this is something that i've been saying ever since they announced that they were going to be doing skins for the school bus more functionality an extra slot maybe that could potentially change the flow of the game. But as of now, I will take this as basic as I can and assume that this will only be cosmetics. And this one actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm worried though, because as you guys know, this can be very expensive to buy. So I'm wondering if they are going to allow us to buy the skin boss with gold as well as green monies, but most likely, I bet 100% that it's going to be green money. So again, keep your expectations low, but of course the option is going to be there for us to buy new skins and make our school bo bus look pretty cool or different. I found this very, very interesting and I have to give it to the developers for this. So it looks like we are going to be some kind of, getting some kind of skill mastery system. And if we take a look at this special quest for every unit in the game that grants rewards and visual rank as well as title. So it looks like the developers, and if you read here, uh, this will be a good reason for us to play, try to play all of the units in the game rather than just playing your favorite six, seven units, which is honestly what I do. So forcing me to, or at least rewarding me for uh, trying to get the skill mastery for all of the units and even get the special rank will be a good way for new players or, or even like players like myself who've been playing this game for a while to go back and use some of those units that we have not used in a very, very long time and learn how to come up with strategies to better understand how those units work. So this looks like it could have a lot of potential. With this, I'm hoping that we get, as far as the reward goes, we get a good reward. But again, I think this will be a good way for players to try new units and not just use those five or six units that we already know that work very well 
like the Torrid, Sonja, and all that good stuff. So this is looking very promising. I like this a lot and cannot wait for those special missions or special quests that will be added to all of those units. Hopefully they, they will make it fun um, and interesting. Now, chapters. This is something that looks very promising as well. It looks like we are going to be able to do more quests or missions in order for us to gain more items, which I think is more items and rewards too. I kind of the same, but it looks like we are going to be able to complete more quests. And it looks like from what I can tell here, it says chapter A, maybe if each chapter will have a set of tasks that will be able or quests that will be able to complete in exchange for rewards. So I think this is this this looks good. I like the way that this is going there, spending more into the this um, UI and system that they built a, a earlier on when they uh, introduced task system, which I think looks pretty pretty cool. And then. This is the part that I'm very, very concerned about. And I think a lot of you guys might as well. So if you guys see here, um, this is one of the challenges or missions that we use or a lot of people use. It seems to be this. This seems to be, at least to my knowledge, one of the more efficient ways to use Austin to get coins. Now, it looks like they will be adding some kind of challenge which i think is good like i said for players like myself who have completed the game to go back and have more difficult missions to do those challenges i think that will be very interesting now the part that concerns me is that are they going to make grinding coins with austin more difficult or more challenging if they do that I am going to be super, super annoyed because it seems like they're, they're, they're trying to find ways to make it difficult for us to get things, which I don't like. And especially what happened with the Harvest Day event, I wouldn't be surprised if they made it 10 times worse to use Austin to get coins, which at the moment is super, super easy. You can get a lot of coins. So if you guys have Austin, please start getting coins. Don't be like myself that I wait when an update comes out to get coins and then try to use those coins to upgrade my items and you guys know how that goes. But I'm looking forward to this, the challenges. This could be fun, but at the same time, I'm wondering how they're going to implement this in a way that potentially will not prevent us from getting coin with Austin because that will feel pretty shitty if they introduce something that will make that happen. But I think the most interesting out of all of this, the more interesting feature that is going to be coming, hopefully with the next update. And it says, and finally a little teaser. And this looks super, super, super awesome. It looks like this is some kind of underground facility, but uh, where did they mention this? I think they mentioned this somewhere up here. Uh, plans change that they often do here are some of the most notable features. Uh, so most of the notable, so it seems like they're going to be more coming. But where did I see something about on the ground being mentioned? Because I did see that somewhere. But, uh, but anyways, going back to this, I don't remember where I saw um, something in regards to this being a underground facility or something. Uh, but it's, it's, I don't remember where I saw it, but... It, this seems like, I don't think, well, I'm not sure if this is going to be a, a new location. Maybe there's going to be a new underground location. Uh, but um, it seems like there's going to be some kind of underground facility that will be able to do missions and, and things like that. This kind of reminds me of the game Before We Die, which... You know, they have an underground facility where survivors go, gather resources and things like that. I'm not sure if this is how this is going to work, but this looks very promising. Like I said, keep your expectations low because you guys know what happened with the previous update. But I'm actually looking forward to this and to see how this is going to work all together. And last but not least, something also really interesting that I saw that was hidden within this post, which I think is pretty cool. It's some kind of events or missions that will have 
time limit. As you guys see here, this one looks like it's going to last for about 14 days. And it says station three, stage one. And then we have stage one, stage two, and stage three. Stage three. Now, I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but it seems like with this event, what they're trying to accomplish is trying to keep us, give us more ways in which we can potentially earn new items and at the same time have more ways to play the game daily, I will say. Uh, so here, like I said, we, we're going to have multiple stages. I'm still not sure how this is going to work, but I'm looking forward. It's just, it has an M station. What does, what does that What does that mean? But from what I can tell, the next update looks to be very promising and I cannot wait for it to be released. Uh, like I said, they have learned from what they did last time with their pose where they gave us an ETA. This time around, they did not give us an ETA, which is good. Um, so if I will have to go by how long it took last time, I will say within two months from here, which I know is a lot, but it seems like with this, this next update seems to be pretty big and it will give us different ways in which we can play while we wait for other updates. If we get a stage nine, that would be awesome, but I'm not sure if this is going to happen just yet, but it looks like we're definitely going to be getting more ways in which we can play, earn more items, earn more rewards and things like that. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this sneak peek. I think there's so much information here and so much coming up. They might release this within two updates. I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully they do one big, big one and we get all of these features all at once. I'm really looking forward to that underground, underground stage or whatever that's going to be. I'm looking forward to um, this new filtering system, which is going to make things so, so, so much easier. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this new, potentially new update coming up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.